other stuff. Um, is it true that uh, there's a lot of uh, riots at your concerts? Um, there's usually an extreme reaction from the crowd, mainly because of the nature of the music we play. You know, when it's high energy and you know there's a lot of adrenaline, I guess people will either react well or badly. And you know, either way, it's going to be sort of um, you know an extreme response. We're not really the kind of band that people can just you know fold their arms and turn away from. You know, we are. We matter to people in the sense that they either hate us or they love us. You know? Yeah. But, um, is that is that what you like the the, 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 re, the reaction? Uh, the There's no point reaction. in being a band if you know, if, as far as you can just you know fold your arms and turn away. With you know, the, for us the worst reaction would be no, no reaction at all. Um, you know, we don't want to appeal to everyone, and so to, to prompt a negative reaction is is just as you know positive as a, as, as a positive reaction for us and you know I think there's nothing worse than having no opinion on something yeah okay so, that, so you want to really stand out uh, we're not intentionally trying to stand out but for us we wouldn't be achieving anything if we didn't so I just think it comes naturally to us and it's sort of a measure of what's going on around us that we stand out you know to the detriment of everything else it's, yeah yeah okay about standing out, um, is it uh, true? I, I read you. You had some problems with other bands. No, we've Fratelli's never we've never really band. had any problems with other bands. Because, uh, we find that most bands, every band that we ever like, has always been into us. I think so far. Okay. But, yeah. um, there was, I read something about the Fratellis. And no, we've never really spoken to the Fratellis. Uh, yeah. They're a band we went on tour with, but we never really spoke to them. Okay. And and the automatic. So no, the automatic like are friends of ours. Music? I mean, we don't like their music, but they're friends of ours. Okay. So what is was the stories or this? I don't know. Enemy? I don't know what you've been reading. Well, enemy stories, I think. That it was. Yeah, they're not all true. <laughs> okay. But is it like um, you feel a little bit uh, like an island with your music, you know, standing alone? Or? Well, we don't really oh. mind. I mean, we are standing alone in the sense there's no one else doing what we're doing at the moment, but I think we're happy like that, you know, with we're making what we want to make and it's irrelevant what else is happening. Yeah, okay. About um, Jack the Ripper, you opened the album with the song Jack the Ripper. Yeah. With a cover from Screaming Lord Such. Yeah. Uh, who is this guy? How do you come? Uh, he was a guy, he was an artist that was working in, in the UK in the, in the early 60s and he, he was recorded by a producer called Joe Meek who kind of collectively is one of our favourite artists. He recorded great deal of musicians from anything from pop to kind of rock and roll instrumentals to really really freaked out kind of verging on garage kind of sounds and he kind of he pushed everything he worked with to the extreme and he did that with that record um, so not only is it one of our favorite records recorded as Screaming Lord Such but there's a few other great bands that have covered it in the past there's a band called one, The One Way Streets which was I think it's featured on one of the Pebbles one of the early Pebbles compilations and, and that kind of sounds an inspiration to us so uh, it's also the first song we ever played as a band when we had our first rehearsal, so it, it felt, uh, you know, the right song to open the album with. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, something else. Um, before the band, what what did you guys do? Did you go to college? Yeah. I mean, we were mostly just studying. Everyone was in. You know, we got together when we were pretty much in our late teens. So, you know, we were just doing what anyone who were in their teens do, I suppose. Yeah. The one thing that we we you know that we all did was kind of spend all of our spare time or any time we had to do stuff, kind of going to listen to music or searching out records. So the band thing was like a really natural thing for us to do. Besides, when you, when you were growing up, uh, your yeah your main interests were all music. Definitely music, for me. Yeah. I think yeah, music, sports, things like that. You know, sports. <laughs> I, like, I like football. Yeah. What's your team? Uh, Blackburn. Blackburn. Okay. Okay. Um, are you also um, like you're really into uh, I don't know psychological uh, stuff? And uh, do you have also have an opinion in you know the state of the world or something? Uh, I think we like sort of I think we keep our political opinions pretty uh, pretty quiet to be honest. I think that uh, I don't know. I think too many. I think it's too easy for bands to come out with a political opinion that doesn't really have any any meaning and they're just jumping on some bandwagon I think I prefer personally to keep my opinions to myself until I feel strongly enough about them. 
until you feel strongly enough about yeah, it. Yeah, until I decide one way or another. So maybe possible uh, in the future. Uh, yeah, maybe in the future. Mm -hmm. So uh, so how do you feel about uh, like what Green Day did? You know, American idiot. That's up to them. I've got I you know to be honest, a band like Green Day is so far removed from what we're doing that it's it doesn't really have any relevance to us. Yeah. Okay. It's a totally different world. Yeah. Okay. Um, are you, um, yeah, we talk, we talked a little bit about you know, a little bit of riots, uh, of, uh, you know, strong reactions on your music. Yeah. Is it that? You, it's, is it, are you you not? Are you? Do you attempt to shock or? I don't know. We as we as we said earlier, we don't really go out to shock people. I just think it's the nature of you know people uh, not you know fearing something they don't understand or, or whatever. You know, I think we always have provoked. You know, extreme reactions, be it for the way we dress or the music we play, and you know, we would never. It just happens to be a byproduct of what, of what we are as people. You know, it's not something that we intended. You know, we dress this way to annoy people. We don't do that. We just dress this way because we feel comfortable, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Like a few years ago, uh, you look the same like you do now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As long as I can remember, anyway. What do you, have you any idea uh, where this band is in like five years? Um, any dreams? Well, I mean, we ideally we want to keep developing as a band, I think, and you know, still making music, but uh, to have uh, explored more creative angles, I think. Yeah. And, and in what way? I think one of the things with the album was obviously it was our first time really working in the studio, so suddenly we had this kind of technology or that side of you know the musical kind of you know the creating creative process available to us so you know we'd spent our time kind of rehearsing and playing we learned as a band from playing live and we started very early playing live shows so suddenly we were working in a different kind of surroundings where we could explore what we could do with old synthesizers or strange echo units and reverb boxes and stuff like that so I think you know that's quite exciting for us that we've released this first album and we've got a chance to kind of explore what we can do in that kind of situation so next time around we're going to be delving further into what we can do and and I think it also affects how you write songs as well, you know. We're initially writing songs for taking straight onto the stage. I think it's quite interesting to write songs with the means, you know, with the idea and means to kind of ex experiment and create yeah. in the studio as well. So. Okay. Uh, last question. I was wondering, do you feel a little bit like, I don't know, an anachronism or something? Because you're so different than in what most sense? bands these, these days. Well, as you see, most bands from England now, you're, you're, you're totally different. But it's just yeah. natural to us. It's how we've spent our whole lives, you know. Doing for us, it's completely natural. It's like, you know, it's just our thing. It's what we do. It's what we are. So. Oh, but also time-wise, do you really feel like you're in 2007, or you'd like to have? Well, no, been because in I think time? it's no, it's not like that at all. I think that you know our music isn't. It's not 60s garage music. It's influenced by 60s garage or 70s music. 70s punk music. You know, or, or 70s punk. punk, or it's not. You know, it's not any kind of time bracket. You know, it's taking influences from all those years and making them into something that's relevant today. You know, and and it, if we weren't doing that, then we'd just be a covers band. You know. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks very much. Cool. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>